Right, hello everybody, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, most of all, thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now, you all know me, if, I've, uh, if you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, I use a lot of the OEX air mats, and all of them are basically just flat at ground. And I'm, I'm starting to feel a bit uncomfortable sleeping on them, you know, with your back being so flat. So I've seen the Trekology air mat on uh, Amazon. I've seen a few of the YouTube videos about it. And I started to get in really interested in the curvature what happens. So you sleep on the, the mat itself and it goes up at the sides. That's what I've been looking for in an air mat for quite a while. Just that extra comfort if I'm using my tents or my bivvies. Now, quite a lot of people are rating these ones all over the internet. I contacted the, the company, excellent customer service as well. Now, I brought this one off Amazon for 40 quid. I'll leave the link in the description if you want to take a look at yourself. There's one problem what I'm going to bring across to you, but we'll do that further on it video. First of all, I've got it all written down. So I'll get absolutely nothing wrong. I don't give you no wrong information. So straight away, we'll start with the pack size. As it is like that, eight inch. And across the bottom, it's four inch. I write it all down so I've got a really shocking memory. So it's eight inch by four inch pack down size. If you wanted to do, you could probably get it a little bit less than that. What I like about this as well is the stuff sack where it comes in or the carry case, whatever you want to call it. There's actually extra room just in case, you know, you can't roll it up to what it needs to do. You're not going to have a really tight fit like some of them do give. You get extra room in the sack, what's really good. I do like that idea. And then you've got this little carry handle here. Now, what we'll do is we'll set it up. And then we'll go across the measurements and I'll show you what I mean by the curvature on it. Right, so the valve is here and it's a two-way valve. So you can pull the top part down and you can just blow it up with your own breath. But do, you know, keep in mind that, that does allow condensation from your breath to build up inside of the air mat. So you might get wetness on the inside. I don't know if it'll cause any problems. Or if you've got one of them bags where you catch the air and you squeeze it in, you've got the second valve there. Or even a bed pump if you're using this out with your families. And it's got that nice little yellow valve there. So whatever air you put in, it don't come back out. What I would recommend is halfway through blowing it up, just stop and take a breath for yourself. <laughs> Get some oxygen back in your lungs. She soon got light-headed. Wow. You know what I mean if you use these air mats, don't you? <laughs> you just got light-headed. World spins. Right, so it's taken two or three minutes to blow up. Is this video a review video of the uh, air mat? Yeah, it's definitely a review video because I just like it all around. I just think when I'm in my tent or in my bivvies, this is going to start giving me that, you know, comfortable, just that little bit more comfortableness when I'm out camping. Right, so there you go. Can you see the curves what I'm on about? In the mat. Right, so the only little logo they've got is at the bottom of the air mat. It is hard for you to see the curved sides on camera, but take my word for it, it is curved up on both sides. You can see from these creases here where it starts curving up. I could do with putting a little bit more air in it. You really feel it on both sides of your shoulders, you know, it just pushing up. So your back's more like that, instead of completely flat. What I'm starting to find really uncomfortable on some of air mats. Yeah, it just gives you that nice comfortableness when you're laying down. And if you turn to your side, what I've realised is, if you're a side sleeper, the more weight what goes on your hips, 
the further the curves come, so that's going to stop you know rolling off. I don't say everyone rolls off the air mats, but I know I've done it. So I bet you're thinking about you know the uh, the rating of it, the sizes. So the rating of it is two to two point five, and it's a three seasons uh, camping mat. It's water resistance, not waterproof. Now the sizes, from here to the bottom where you're gonna lay on it, it is six foot three inch. And then from the cross here to here, it's 22 inch. And the thickness of it all is four and a half inch thick. Now that's from the sides. I don't know, I didn't work out how to measure from there. I think you're gonna be talking probably about two and a half inch. You know, in the centre of the mat. But yeah, from the size where it blows up at each side for the curvature on it, that is four and a half inch. The pack down size, we've already covered that. Now, it's 40D, 40D nylon material. That's standard for most of them these days on market. The thing is, I weighed this. On the Amazon website, it says it comes in at 360 grams when I weighed it it come at 540 grams I don't know if that's the problem with the Amazon page but the bit of difference there isn't it? it's maybe something you might want to check out yourself if you can do overall I am looking forward to using this on load of the camping trips this year as soon as the lockdowns are over a lot of camping trips planned this year with the uh, new tent that I got last week. So this will be really, really good handy with that. I'm looking forward to using this mat. Just with, like I said earlier, with the way it goes up at each side, to give that extra bit of comfortableness. It's really going to change my camping. So I got it off Amazon for £40. I will put the link in the description below. Now, I hope I've said enough for you, you know, if you're looking for it. I hope I've said enough, basically, what you've been looking for. That's all I can say. Now, if you like this video, you can whack this button here and you better subscribe to my channel. I'll put some more videos here for you to see. I'll put some wild camping ones and I'm not sure what I'll put there. But I will put some camping videos here. And you can press this here and you better subscribe to my YouTube channel. 